Moving on to wide receiver 31 in our consensus ranks, we have Michael Pittman, a wide receiver who I was very high on last year, a bit of disappointed. I think we learned that he is one of those wide receivers who I kind of mentioned with DJ Moore, I think can't transcend a bad situation. Uh, he's not quite that level wide receiver, but still a very good wide receiver. The drafting of Anthony Richardson, I think, hurt him because we know that Anthony Richardson, Richardson is inexperienced and accuracy is a little bit of an issue for him coming into the NFL. But there are some encouraging things. The research done by Ben Gretsch and J.J. Zacharyson, Zacharyson with uh, RPO Heavy Systems showed how these systems consolidate the targets around one to two targets on their team. Just because by the nature of the play, you kind of have to do it that way. And that's encouraging for Michael Pittman. Like I, it, it makes me think I, I still believe in the target share that he's going to get in the offense. It's just what are those targets going to be now with Anthony Richardson? How much are they running? Tim, what do we think? I really like uh, Michael Pittman, especially at this rank. I think he's, I think he's like pretty much free when it comes to where his upside could be. I understand all the concerns, especially based off of what we saw last year. I think a lot of people are snake bitten. And that's why they're, they're, I think at least half your league is going to be in a void on Pittman, which means you can probably get them cheaper than this rank. But uh, just based on the target numbers, the target share, the volume he's going to get is going to be very, very good. And the question mark I have is how accurate is going is uh, Anthony Richardson going to be. But the consolidation of targets that you were talking about, the RPO was something I already had built into my, my thought process. Because my other question was going to be, who else is going to compete for targets? Like, um, I, I like Josh Downs. I'm forgetting the rookie they drafted last year, Pierce. Alec Alec Pierce. Pierce. Pierce to me is more a boom bust player. I don't think he's a real volume receiver. Like he had some games like that last year, but like they, he didn't produce big numbers off of larger larger target numbers. So I think that Michael Pittman is the, the most one B or most one A one B player in the league. Where like he's not ever going to be an alpha, but like he gets close to alpha production in terms of targets and. That's not something you can just go find. So I I would rather go with the guy that's getting the opportunity because who knows if he busts bigger bigger plays or you know somebody falls down and he's just wide open things like that that just change a week to versus a guy that I'm I'm hoping gets 120 targets. You know what I mean? Jake, the highest on this, our team actually wide receiver 26. Yeah, I'm I'm comfortable reaching a little bit for Pittman. Um, obviously, I've seen all the research that you guys have both mentioned about the consolidation of targets in the RPO scheme, but I think it more so just boils down to, uh, uh, like we've talked about with a few different guys, it hasn't mattered who the quarterback is. He is still getting a really good target share. He's produced around, you know, a wide, uh, low wide receiver to finish each of the past two years, um, regardless of the quarterback situation. And he's just a really talented wide receiver. He does what he does and he does it really well. And I think they're rec they're going to recognize that Alec Pierce's real only real contribution to this team, I think is going to be on broken plays where Richardson scrambles. He uses his, 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 uh, insane ability to manipulate a pocket and work within space to find Pierce on some broken plays here. But I think Pittman's going to just maintain another 26 to 28% target share in this offense. And I think they're going to have to throw the ball enough, especially if Jonathan Taylor gets traded or he holds out, they're going to have to throw the ball a lot. And I think that is fully the plan, especially with the, the new head coach there with Steichen coming in from the Eagles. We've seen what he can do with a wide receiver. He gives the wide receiver one a, a lot of targets, especially when the wide receiver two isn't uber talented. So I'm just not afraid of Pittman this year. I'm not afraid of Richardson coming in and being, you know, a knock on him. I think if there's anybody I'm confident in working really, really hard to get better, it's Anthony Richardson. And if he's going to do that, it's going to be through this offense where Michael Pittman is the, the alpha, essentially. He's operating as the alpha. So for me, I'm just fully confident in him. I wasn't as confident coming into last year just because I had some concerns about Matt Ryan and his ability to still throw a football. I know Anthony Richardson can throw a football, and I know he can throw it really, really hard. It's, if he can find... <laughs> If he can find the the ability to kind of dial it back a little bit and just take what's given to him, Pittman's he gets open. It's all he does. He's an 80th percentile route winner in basically every aspect per reception perception. So for me, I'm just so confident in the player that the situation just worries me less. All right.